Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> Himawari 8, or as I like to call it, Him, him who destroys, destroys Flat Earth, Earth 8. 8. The satellite is in a geostationary orbit on my side of the Earth, sitting at about 22,000 miles or 35,000 kilometers away, and takes a scanned photograph of the face of the Earth every 10 minutes and is then uploaded to several websites around the world. It's a fairly hot topic in the Globe Earth Flat Earth argument. The Globe Deniers claim the images are nothing but CGI, but I've already done several observations matching my local weather with real-time images from the satellite, and the images always match. This for me, and for many other people, is conclusive evidence that the images are in fact real. I've finally done a new type of observation which I've wanted to do since I started doing these, and that is dual time lapses. I'll show you a few of them in this video. That actually was one of them at the start of this video. I take this view here, which is the view from the top floor of my house looking to the northwest, and I've matched this with sequential zoomed in images from Himawari 8. First, we make a time lapse. This one is just an example, and then I'll show you what part of the Himawari image I'll be using. This one is only about 25 minutes of time, so I didn't do a match up for this one. But it's got some nice crepuscular rays, and that's why I left it in. Here's the Himawari site I use. The link is in the description. And if we zoom in, I can show you where I live. This is Australia, obviously. I live on the east coast, a little north of Sydney. There's Sydney just there, and then Newcastle. And I live here in a little town called Nelson Bay. This strip here is actually a large stretch of sand dunes which makes identifying my location pretty easy. Here's the Google Earth image of my location which gives us a good idea of where I am. There's the sand dunes and I live on this peninsula just there. And the view from my house I'm using is looking out to the northwest. All right here's the first observation. Virtually clear skies and just with a couple of small little clouds there and one cloud which we'll see go past when we press play and There it is And then it's just clear skies for the rest of this time lapse All these main time lapses go for about an hour uh, except for the last one. I'll show you Here's the second dual time lapse with these streaky type of clouds fanning out to the north I haven't added the timestamps for all these because it's not really necessary. If I don't use the right images, it doesn't match. And I absolutely love when flat earthers think I'm lying or faking my photos. All right, play it. We can see the channels in the clouds as this system moves to the east and it looks like it's about to clear up. Let's see. Uh, look at that. The clouds cleared up just like in the satellite images. Now, there's a couple of videos going around thinking they've debunked Himawari 8 because they've found evidence that Himawari uses CGI, particularly data from the Blue Marble set. Now, when Himawari's view goes into nighttime, it still needs to be making observations, and that's when the Blue Marble data is used. Himawari's camera can also see in infrared, and it needs the CGI image of the Earth so we can still see where exactly the clouds are. The data is also useful if we want to do an overlay of the landmass and country borders. So my point is, don't be fooled by fake researchers who just cherry pick what they need to keep their delusions alive. Also, Doppler radar can't see through storm clouds, just something to remember. So don't cherry pick, eat the whole cherry tree for information. On this day, it wasn't worth doing a time lapse because, as you can see, there literally wasn't one single cloud in the sky. But it's worth showing this because days like this still match up with Himawari. And then the very next day, it was completely raining all day and totally covered in clouds. I'm showing you this one for the same reason as the clear day. They always match. Now, this next one is interesting. There's my location. Firstly, we can see the sunlight shining through this hole over here, but look at the movement of the clouds. They actually look like they're moving at the wrong angle compared to the satellite images, but it's actually the upper layer of clouds moving across the lower layer. 
and if we keep watching it eventually pushes the lower layer out of the way and everything changes direction and there we go cool huh all right here's the final one this one is actually a two and a half hour time lapse i showed a sped up version of this at the very start of the video but i'll slow it down just for this part now we can sort of make out the cloud shape here but we can see this strip of striped cloud here that should come into view in a moment and there it is also we've got another group of puffy clouds that come into view and there they are images from Himawari 8 always match my local weather I also did this bit of footage during the last time lapse just to show the main band of clouds there and how it's clear here and there's those puffy clouds moving east seriously don't listen to people trying to debunk Himawari 8 because they're really not doing any of the observations or real research into figuring out whether it's real or not all right thanks heaps for watching if you have any questions about these observations or anything else I do, I'm more than happy to answer them in the comments section. Thank you so much to my Patreons, John, Joe, and JMac, and thanks again, and see you later.